Yeah, hi, my name is Stanislav Kostek. Hi, my name is Stanislav Kostek Jr. And behind us is the organic material recycling system designed by my father and I to convert waste materials such as tires, plastics, medical waste, and coal into usable products such as oil, syngas, carbon black, and steel. Now we're going to take you through the system and show you what we're putting in and what we're getting out. Thank you. Yeah, here's the tires we're putting in. It's a two minus shred with the steel still inside it. And this goes into the reactor just like that and gets broken down into the products I explained earlier. This is the feeding conveyor. It feeds the hopper up on top and it goes into a series of airlock valves that keep the oxygen out of the system and the gas from escaping into the atmosphere. Then we have the reactor chamber where the process takes place. This is the condensation unit. Right now we can break the oil down into four fractions. The first fraction is a type like a diesel oil, a heavy oil. The second will be like a diesel kerosene mix. And the third will be more like a gasoline type. That's like the diesel oil, kerosene mix, have your, pretty much all the fractions mixed together. All right, here's like a more of a diesel kerosene mix. It's a little bit lighter. We get about a gallon of oil from every 20 pounds of tire, which is basically a gallon per tire. This is a lighter, it's more like a gasoline type. It's still dirty, but it has to just be cleaned out, filtered. And you can see it's very light. Here's the syn gas. Right now we're just burning it off, but there's a lot of BTUs in the gas. Here's the carbon and steel discharge. So after the tires are cooked, we separate the steel from the carbon here. This is the steel, and this is the magnetic separator. You can see there's some carbon left in there, but most of it's out of the steel already. Then the carbon comes out dry and powdery like this. And the, even the pieces are crumbly. They just can be milled and crushed up. And those are the end products.